Well guys, the 2022 Tundra, since its reveal, I have developed five things that I both like and dislike about that truck. So let's get into that. So I am sitting in my first gen. As you guys saw in my recent video, I do plan on getting the 2022 Tundra, but I have come to develop some things that I really just don't like about the truck. And then also some things that I do like about the truck. And let's start with the hybrid model, right? The hybrid model is gonna be crazy. Let's just get that out of the way. It's gonna be crazy with those numbers, but all the batteries are sitting in the rear seat or underneath the rear seat, I should say. This completely kills all storage under the rear seat. So if you are someone that puts, you know, in the back seat, under the seat, they're gone. Straps, toe straps, anything, construction things, a, a ball hitch, whatever you put in a truck, right? I mean, I got straps and stuff behind the back seat of this truck. All that storage is gone. So the fact that the batteries sit under that seat, and not only that, that it takes up your storage, but it also raises that back seat up just ever so slightly. I mean, I get it. It's a lot of batteries. Where else were they going to put it on the truck? They weren't going to put it underneath because the trucks get wet, right? So they had to put it under that seat. So I get that, but just a ton of storage space is just gone. The second thing, guys, that I dislike about the 2022 Toyota Tundra is just some of their taste and design that they did. Chrome. What? Hmm. <laughs> Chrome. Chrome is still a thing on this truck. Even the TRD off-roads that we see with that awesome like charcoal gray grill has chrome around it as well. Not sure why it's not body matched. Maybe when more trims come out, stuff will be more body matched, but or maybe just an option to do body match. I don't know, but chrome is just... I don't like chrome, and not a lot of people like chrome also. Number three that I dislike, and I know why they did it probably, no hybrid option for the SR5. The reason I feel like they didn't do this though is because in a couple years, I guarantee you that a hybrid option will be for the SR5. Just like when the second gen Tundra came out in 2007, it still had the 4.7 as an option, then it had the 4.6 and the 5.7 liter, and eventually it just phased out and it was just all 5.7 liters. So this model, so the SR5 being a base model, not having a hybrid engine does stink. I get it because it's gonna be a volume Tundra, I get that but I know there are people that don't want to pay the limited platinum TRD Pro 1794 prices that still do want a hybrid option. So it does stink that at launch, the hybrid's not available, but I, I do feel like that they will have that available eventually down the road. The fourth thing, guys, when I was sitting in that truck, I know they were prototypes, so I'm going to preface that first, but the center console, as cool and trick as it was, had a lot of plastic. The center console felt like it rattled a little bit. Plastic on plastic contact just makes for rattles and it, it rattled just ever so slightly. So hopefully with the production models, the center console is a bit more rigid, bit more firm, maybe better materials for it or better plastic and not just cheap plastic. But I did notice that the center console rattled a, a decent bit in those prototypes. The fifth thing guys, and as a Toyota influencer, this may sound kind of crappy, but the TRD Pro, the fifth thing I don't like about the 2022 Tundra is kind of the TRD Pro. It, it's meh. It's just meh. It is very cool truck. It's a very cool truck. Don't get me wrong. The interior, absolutely awesome. That is one thing that I like about the Tundra. We'll get into that. The, the interior is awesome. The looks of it looks great, but it's just, it's just a truck with suspension at the end of the day. It has the crawl control. It has a multi-terrain select. It has all that stuff on it. But now the TRD off-roads also have that as well. But it's not like you can't get that in other Tundra models this year. The suspension, the Fox shocks, I'm sure are great. But you can get other suspension on other Tundras once companies come out with it as well. Doesn't have crazy fiberglass like a Ford Raptor. The motor I know is going to be crazy. The motor is going to be awesome. But other than that stuff in it, it's not a Raptor competitor. It is not a TRX competitor. It's a competitor in the sense that it may be significantly cheaper than those trucks. Um, and, and I'm sure built up, they'll be awesome. But out of the box from Toyota, and it is because Toyota is a very conservative company, like they, they don't want to go outside the laws of DOT. Like they don't at all. And that is one thing that I learned at this event is that Toyota is very, very by the book. So it makes sense as to why the TRD Pro is not something just freaking crazy. Now, with all the negative out of the way, <laughs> let's get into some things that I do like about this truck. Starting with number one, guys, is that it's over-engineered. This truck, after being at that event, is crazy over-engineered. The timing chain for this truck is wider than every other half-ton out there on the market, 
and it is basically as big as a diesel engine's timing chain. Mike Swears was talking about this up on the stage, stating that there is no room for failure for this truck. The way that they cool the exhaust before it gets to the turbos, bigger timing chain, everything about this truck is over engineered. Simplicity of a rear tailgate, not doing all the gimmicky stuff like GMC or any other companies like that, because when we asked them, why not something like GMC? Well, it has too many moving parts, it's gonna fail. So they over-engineered this truck, and I absolutely love that. And the reason I love it is just because there's so much technology going into this truck that people are kind of scared for it, but don't worry, they, they just, they over-engineered this thing. Number two, guys, and I kind of touched on it in my dislikes, is the interior. I love, 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 love the interior of this truck. I know it doesn't portray that amazingly on camera. I get that because you're not physically in the truck, but the interior is the next level. Have not sat in the SR5 yet, but the Limited, Platinum, TRD Pro, and 1794, all those interiors are just soft touch everywhere. Seats are incredibly comfortable. The screen was snappy. The, the 14 inch multimedia screen was fast and snappy. Nothing rattled in it except for the center console but nothing was out of place in that truck at all and it felt so solid. Obviously, as miles start to get on these trucks and people start you know, driving them and real world testing them, we will see their flaws in it. But as of right now, the interior is absolutely incredible and it is a huge, huge step up from the second generation. Speaking of interior and comfort, the third thing that I like, guys, is the seat position for the driver. I am not a fan of the second generation Tundra seat position. This first generation is nice. It's because it's smaller like a Tacoma, but I actually sit in it very well. Great visibility, I feel good. The second generation Tundra, I sit like up really high. I'm not even gonna adjust my camera because I sit up really high in that truck. And when you try to lower the seat down all the way, it's already down all the way. You sit so freaking high in the second generation Tundra. With this third generation truck, you can adjust the seat all the way down. I, I am a fan personally of driving with my seat kind of in the B pillar, like the, the headrest of it. And I like to have my butt a little bit lower so I'm not sitting up super high. I'm just weird like that. That's how I like to drive. I don't, lay, I don't lean all the way back, but I like to sit low in the truck so I have a better feel of everything. The seat, at least the electronic one for the driver's seat, crazy amount of adjustment that you can sit in that truck and the, and the driving position and everything of that truck is absolutely awesome. The fourth thing that I like guys is that the TRD off-road trim for this Tundra has everything you need finally. It has a rear locking diff, multi-terrain select, and it also has crawl control. That is so awesome and that is like that in SR5, in Limited for the TRD Pro because it has that system and for 1794. So for whichever one you get, you get all those features. That basically coincides with one of my dislikes about the TRD Pro not being crazy, like awesome, right? Is because you can get a plain Jane SR5, just like the TRD Pro 4Runner. You could get a plain Jane TRD off-road, in this case, it's an SR5 trim for the Tundra, build it to potentially be better, aside from the motor, than a TRD Pro. Because you still have all the electronics in that truck that make it absolutely awesome, but you don't have to pay for the TRD Pro price. So. Guys, the last thing, number five, that I absolutely like about this truck is they kept it simple. They just kept it simple. Is this thing gonna win a crazy amount of awards? I honestly don't think so. Will it be truck of the year? It may, just because it's new, but I, I honestly don't think so. There's nothing crazy in that truck that, you know, that, that Ford does that Dodge does, there's nothing crazy in that truck that sets it apart aside from its new hybrid system, right? But other than that, interior, nothing absolutely crazy. Exterior, nothing over the top and crazy. It's just a well thought out truck. And at the end of the day, it's just that. It's a truck. Mike Swears said that this truck isn't the lightest truck out there. They didn't want to go for that because a light truck is a crappy truck. Not his words, but a light truck is a just, it, it handles like a car. They wanted this thing to still handle like a truck. So they didn't shave off all the weight that they could have, right? Because at the end of the day, it is a truck and you want it to perform like a truck. So my fifth and final thing, guys, about this Tundra is that it's just a simple truck and it is going to get everything done reliably, comfortably that you need it to get done. 
And I guess a bonus is the looks. I like the way that it looks. So guys, if you're new around here, definitely consider subscribing. Returning subscribers, as always, I appreciate your guys' support, and I will catch you in the next video. All right, see you later. Thank you.